Right guys, hello, welcome back to another video. I wanted to do a quick look at the game Moss. Now, it's not a new game. I've had it since, I don't know, February. It's probably a couple of years old by now, but it does get overlooked by people. You can get it on PC VR, you can get it on PlayStation VR, but it's also available on the Quest. A lot of people are getting the Quest 2 headset and looking for games to play. So it might be a good idea if we check this out, because I'll be honest, I was guilty of it. I thought it would be a kid's game and I just overlooked it. I wasn't interested and I got it in a humble bundle deal for about £10 with a lot of other games. I was actually really surprised uh, how much I enjoyed it, even as a grown adult. So we can have a quick look, see what it's all about. Maybe we'll do a playthrough in the future. We'll see how uh, people react. So I need to open the book. Turn the page. Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? Yes, we will. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. Turn the page. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. The King's Guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the Arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing, hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the Sprite Champion at the Mire's edge. Together, they fought back the Arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the Champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. So those of you who thought it was just some kind of audio book, no, it's not. It is a game. The developers said they are working on a second book to expand the story out. Really looking forward to seeing that. That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most.
Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the being silently peering down at her. Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close and night would follow. So it's given me a subtle tutorial. As the reader, I am like the angel on Quill's shoulders, so I control the mouse. I can also interact with the world to help her along as well. Animation is absolutely first class. So at its heart, what it really is, is like a platform game. It does have combat on it, and we've come a long way from Mickey Mouse and the Castle of Illusion, the games I grew up with. So we've come to our first puzzle. Let's grab the block, pull it out for Quill to continue on. Having a look around, looks like we can go down through there. What's this block all about? Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. simple puzzle but to do it in VR in this 3D space is incredibly cool oh, little hidden trinkets for us to find around the, the levels things open we'll take that fairy dust so I can see a scroll up there so I have to break this stuff open I'll have a little think about where we're gonna go
Let's make that jump. So some of you might wonder, well, why does this have to be a VR game? I suppose it didn't have to be. It does add a level of immersion, you being in the level. Not only do I control the character, but I can have some influence on the world itself as well to help with the puzzles. And I think that's incredibly cool. We need to make our way past the water wheel. It's been a while since I played this, so let's have a think and see what we're supposed to do. see we can get into this wheel. Oh, we drowned. trying to hop off. So let's keep a hold of it, make it a bit easier for Quill. There we go. scroll up and over the house okay, let's wait there we go Keeping a hold of it. Looks like that's going to bring down the bridge. There we go. Thanks to her new friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle, uncle, there's something you have to see. Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you, but I found something strange and magical. So you can see, 
we're filling in this stained glass window picture with those scrolls that we're finding hidden in the levels. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? She asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? Roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. Hey, kid! Kid! Wake up! Hey, kid, over here! I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick, too. We're going to need them. Quill called out. Hey! Starthing, wait! Quill had never met a starving. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. Passage through the eastern gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. scroll Quill demanded answers 
Starving, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. Let's try and figure out where we're supposed to go. Slide this back. Shuffle along the ledge. Pull it out to make a little bridge. So, okay, the puzzles aren't mind-numbing at this stage, this way, but it needs to remain kid-friendly as well, but that doesn't mean we can't enjoy in. it as grown-ups. Stag watching over us. All these stepping stones out of the water. There's an opening there for us to get to the to the scroll. Play on a little bit till we get to some combat. I'm sure you guys want to see how that plays out in the game. Looks like we've got some sticks here we can break. Not sure she'll make that jump to the scroll. What if we go up here? the leap. Well done, Quill. So I can see, like in Saints and Sinners when we play that, we can see these white lines on the ledges. Let us know what can be grabbed. 
just drop down. Just on the other side is the mire, the starling assured her. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. the squirrel that uncle rode off on. Did you hear that? The starling seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. Oh, that looked painful. Let's help our little buddy up. They're back on their feet. So the rusted sword broke. So the peer over the wall. Like this statue is out of place. Some more brambles to cut back. in the wall there, you can get through. Is there going to be something behind this wall? Maybe not. Drop down again past the statue, make the jump. Jump again for the ledge. And some help. So I'm attacking with one button. I've got another button for jumping, but if I hold that away, you can. 
dodge out of the way. Like so. Whisper echoed through the trees. Fought like someone who has stolen our champion's power. A small yet fantastical band of sprites emerged surrounding Quill. I'm Veda, root seer of the mire. And you have crossed into our domain. So Mr. Page dims that wants me to turn the page, but I think we'll leave it there. We've seen a little bit of the combat, get a general idea of what the game's all about. So if you guys want me to do a playthrough, we can do that. I really don't like to spoil stories for people. Um, yeah, this game does an incredibly good job of storytelling. I really look forward to uh, seeing another book in the future so those of you that got the quest 2 and you're looking for some games to play i can highly recommend this and if you've got pc vr or playstation vr and you haven't got it you might want to check it out too so we'll leave it there guys have a great day have a great evening whatever it is you choose to do after watching this and as always i'll see you when i see you next ciao for now